he said we shouldn't uh, make any reference to her husband as a, as a, t a, t a sort of sensitivity to uh, that uh, they wouldn't want that disclosed. The mother wouldn't want that disclosed. M more details about the husband. Um, and he's a bit reluctant to stick his neck out on that. To be quoted as saying that uh, her husband is being held in detention in Transvaal because he, he can't confirm that himself. Um, I've been trying to do that. I've found several lawyers this afternoon to try and confirm that he was in fact being held in Transvaal and I've had very little joy. Um, you know, we'll just have to go through the story again and try and he also doesn't want to be quoted, so that's another problem. Who doesn't? The lawyer. We've put in the story. We've quoted him, and I, he just say, says that we should say it's a source close to the family. Um. So what? What part of the story isn't in your story? What? What can't you say? Well, we can't confirm anything about her husband um, that he is being detained at the moment or we don't know anything about the husband and we, we haven't been able to est establish anything more you know it's like a mystery as to who he is because she came back to Cape Town without him uh, not even her parents uh, know that she's married or that she's, she's got a child and her mother doesn't even know that and What about her detention? The details of her arrest, can she say? That can she say? Can, that you can't report in your article. We can merely, we can merely report that, that she's been detained under Section 29. And it's, even, even that, it's difficult because we haven't been able to confirm that with the police. Because they've, you know, as I explained, we've been to them twice in the past two days and um, by this afternoon they still hadn't confirmed a detention.